Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and setup video of my latest item from the company My Pet Command. Uh, I like doing these videos in case there's somebody out there who's thinking about buying the same item and wants to get an idea of what does it look like when it comes in, what does it come with, and what all do you get. So I'm going to show you the box real quickly. Now let's go ahead and open it up, look at all the items you receive, and then I'll get it set up and kind of walk you through how it works. So uh, you get an ultrasonic dog whistle, some plastic prongs, two sets of metal prongs, and you'll notice that one's a little bit smaller than the other. Uh, in case you want to use longer prongs, depending on your dog, you might want to use the longer prongs or the shorter prongs. They give you a set of each. A bolt tester. A reflective nylon strap. And this strap is supposed to fit any dog uh, with size 6 to 25 inches of a neck. So just to let you know that. <clears throat> USB charging cable. The wall outlet for your charging cable. And then last but not least, your GPS collar. So the thing I'll mention is this is not the first GPS collar that this company has put out. This is an updated version. Uh, this is the updated version. It came out in mid-November 2020. I do have the previous version, but what's great about this one, it's a little bit of a letdown on the previous version, is this one, when we set the GPS coordinates, it has a built-in memory and it will remember it. So you don't have to constantly set the GPS coordinates on this one like you do on their previous model. So I'm gonna go ahead, This is that's just a quick unboxing video. I'm gonna go ahead and charge it. It recommends that you charge it four to six hours before the first use. So I'm gonna do that now, and then maybe we'll go out there and get it set up, walk through some of the configuration. So I've had some time to read through the instruction manual and play with the GPS collar. First, let me say in my unboxing video, I didn't show the instruction manual. In my box, it was underneath the plastic insert. So be careful uh, when you open your box, if you don't see it laying on top, look underneath the plastic insert. That's where my instruction manual was. Instruction manual is written very well. The company has a email address as well as an 800 number if you have any questions. But I will show you some of the things on the GPS collar. Uh, just a couple uh, kind of catches just to make sure you're looking out for. What I would recommend is if you're using this collar for the very first time, go into your yard and determine how big of a radius uh, barrier you're looking to establish. Whether it's 30 meters, 40 meters, 50 meters, you can go all the way up to a half a mile. But the reason I say you want to establish that is because when you turn on the GPS collar for the very first time, depending on where you're standing, it's going to connect to satellites and it's going to establish what's called your center position. Basically, imagine the circle, wherever you're standing, that's going to be the center of that circle barrier. So establish how big of a barrier you want to make first, go stand in the middle of that, and then turn on the GPS collar. So I'm going to turn mine on now. Now I'm indoors. So connecting to satellites might take a little bit longer. What your should look like is just like mine. You should, you should see your battery indicator, a double blinking zero. That means it's trying to connect to satellites. And then up here, you might see one of the mode buttons lit, lit up. The one thing you shouldn't see for your first use is you shouldn't see a lock icon underneath the battery indicator as mine is. If you see that, it means that the GPS collar has previously connected to a center location and that location is stored in the unit. Uh, don't freak out if you see that. I'll show you how to clear it. You can clear it at any point you want to, but just like in my case, it just connected and now it has saved my location and it's connected to four, now five satellites. You'll see that number keep fluctuating depending on the number of satellites that it's connected to. Now I'm up to seven. Now again, I'm indoors. You can use this indoors. It's a little bit harder to connect to the satellites, but I've got a pretty good signal and I'm connected to now five satellites. So once you've got your center location established, you'll notice that my screen just turned off. And if you watch, there'll be a blinking double digit. It means the screen, the collar is on, it's operational. It just turns off the screen to preserve your battery life. Once you've connected to satellites, you've established your center location. If you press the M button, which is your mode button, you can go into the different mode settings. So there's a beep setting, there's a vibrate setting, I'm sorry, beep setting, um, vibrate setting and then a shock setting. The beep setting can basically be on or off. 
the vibrate setting, you have some different levels. You can have it on high, three would be high, two would be medium, one would be low, zero would be off. And then the same thing with shock. You can have the shock off on uh, low, medium, or high. You can use all three of these, or you can use any one of them, or two of them, depending on your preference. You'll notice on mine that the only one that's showing is shock because I have the other two turned off. If I press the mode button again, let's just put on vibrate on two. Once the screen turns off, we should see the vibrate and the shock lit up because those are the two different modes I'm using. That's what's showing there now. The other thing you'll want to do is we've got our center location established. We've set up the modes that we want to use as far as the collar. If we press and hold the M button, we'll set up the size of our barrier. Now this is a little bit tricky. This number can be anywhere from three to 1000, but you're gonna to wanna to take the number times 10 to equal the, the number of meters of the barrier. So a three, sorry, let me go back to it. A three would be a 30 meter uh, rate uh, barrier. Four would be 50, uh, 40 meters. Five would be 50 meters. Six would be 60 meters all the way up to a thousand meters, which is about a half a mile uh, of a barrier. So don't get confused with that. 15 is not 15 meters, it's 150 meters. So that's why I said the very first thing I would do is establish the, uh, the size of the barrier that I'm looking to make, measure that out so that you can set your meters accordingly. The lowest that you can have again is three, 30 meters. That's what I've got mine set for. Uh, the other thing I should mention is that it's a good idea to reset your center boundary every one to two weeks because even though you're connecting to satellites, the satellites can drift a little bit, and if they do, that'll change your center location. Uh, but if you're using it every couple days, that's fine. One to two weeks is recommended to reset your center boundary. So now we've got our center boundary and our barrier set up. The collar is operational. What you'd want to do at this point is take your collar walk to the end of where you think your boundary should be and make sure that the collar goes off uh, to let you know that you've got it set up accordingly. I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna show you uh, something else. So, oops. Okay, so I've got the collar off. Now let's say I'm going to the park or I'm going to the beach or something like that. I turn the collar on. I turn it on, it's doing the exact same thing as we saw before, but you'll notice there's a lock on here. What that's doing is it's connecting and setting up the collar based on my previously saved location. So anytime you're going to a new location, you always wanna be careful of this. If you see that lock position on, it's connecting to the previously saved location. If you ever wanna change that, maybe you're going to a new location or maybe you turn on the collar and you don't remember where you locked in at, all you have to do is press the M and power button at the same time, and it'll reset the save location, and it'll start the whole process over again based on where you're currently standing with your collar. So that's pretty easy. That's the only thing to make sure of is uh, make sure that when you turn the collar on, if you see that lock, that it's locked into the position that you want it to be. If you're not sure what that is, reset the collar and go through the whole process again. Really easy, I hope that makes sense, but if you got any questions, Post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.